He was a man loved by many and one who became the face of reckless driving on the streets of Milwaukee. Today, friends and family said goodbye to 71 year old Andrew Tyler, who died last week from his injuries after putting up quite the fight for the last month. Lauren Winfrey talked to the man's family. She's here now with their story, Lauren. Yeah, Tom, it was a homecoming fit for a king. Not only did a number of fellow crossing guards attend the, fun the funeral as a sign of solidarity, but the family also wore purple because it's Tyler's favorite color and it's also a color associated with spirituality and peace, both things they say Tyler embodied. <laughs> A crusader for the safety of children. Well, he could have done anything, but he chose, you know, to help little kids get across the street. 71 year old Andrew Tyler dedicated a decade of his life to serving the city of Milwaukee as a crossing guard until one day while serving last month, he was hit by a car and left in the middle of the road. It's been a nightmare. Sharon Tyler, Tyler's daughter, says her father fought for his life while in the hospital, but his injuries were too severe. On December 7th, Tyler died, and today friends and family offered their final goodbye to a man many consider a hero. Well, this is indeed a solemn morning. I mean, it's a tragic loss. Chief Ed Flynn presented Tyler with the Purple Star of Valor. Tyler's the first non-police officer to receive the award, but Chief Flynn says Tyler embodies everything the Star of Valor stands for. You don't have to carry a gun to be killed in the line of duty in this job, and clearly he was going about, you know, getting to his post and protecting the children and, uh, and uh, paid for it with the loss of his life. And coming up, Coming up at six, we'll hear from Tyler's grandson, who was who says although his grandfather is gone, he hopes to help his legacy, his legacy live on. Live in the newsroom, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4. Okay, Lauren, thanks. And Chief Flynn did take a moment during the service to address the person who struck and killed Tyler. The person that did this would be well served to step forward, because certainly even now at this late date, coming forward and taking responsibility will have an impact on how your conduct is charged. Well, the chief says this is not an easy investigation and they have some leads with uh, plenty of work left to do.